Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Affordable Fountain Pens. This time I have for you a quite elegant fountain pen which I bought from uh, the Ocean French retailer. We have an Omega Chrome fountain pen and this is uh, the package it comes uh, with. We have Zenit since 1951, uh, something written in Polish, I believe, and this is the translation, Fountain Pen. This producer, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is based in Poland. Okay, so on the package, we have an Iridium ball. It comes with two replaceable ink cartridges and the ink color of the cartridge is blue. We also have this sticker which uh, it guarantees the authenticity of the fountain pen. And on the back we have again Zenith since 1951. Some uh, instructions in Polish English. Czech Republic, Hungarian. Okay, let's uh, read the instruction in English. A pen nib topped with an iridium ball. Exceptional durability and writing is a pen nib for right and left handed persons, replaceable ink cartridges. So it's suited also for um, right or left handers. And a code and in Romania it says fountain pen omega chrome this states it is black but it certainly it is not black it is like a dark purple but we will see it on the light shortly it opens quite easily okay we simply oh Okay, let's remove first the ink cartridges, which are included. Okay, and now we will check out the fountain pen. Let's uh, leave uh, this aside. And this is the fountain pen. Okay. I believe we have uh, another ink cartridge here. Let's check it out. So definitely, oh, bonus, another ink cartridge. So although they say on the package that uh, we have only two ink cartridge, look, bonus, the third one. Let's close the barrel and let's examine for a moment the fountain pen. It is quite um, a light fountain pen. It is uh, not a metallic fountain pen. It is made out of plastic. And it has this beautiful, let's say, burgundy color or um, dark red color, call it as you wish. So we have on the cap painted, not imprinted, Zenith Omega. We have this interesting clip, a metallic clip. Let's see how springy it is. It's quite springy for uh, what it is. It reminds me with this slim look of the fountain pens from the 1970s. It is a quite, quite light fountain pen. It ends in this molded um, plastic element and also the end of the barrel. Let's uh, check out the grip section and the nib so as you can see we have this uh, grip section which is made out of plastic and it is black in color it ends in this plated uh, also plastic element i don't like the silver trim at the end it will in time it will um be affected by the acidity of the ink and it will crack also the nib it is a steel nib it is imprinted 
but the imprints are fading away. You can see Zenith, Zenith, Register Stray Mark, and Iridium. Okay, this I believe it is a logo, and this ornated elements remind me of um, nibs made in China. Maybe I am mistaken. The feed with this five, it is a um, plastic feed, a simple feed. The fact that I don't like is this part is made out of plastic and um, it will develop problems in time. This also is made out of plastic. So I don't like these things, but uh, maybe they thought they could um, maintain the weight of the fountain pen low but also the price low no problem this is just my opinion okay let us see if we can hold two ink cartridges simultaneously so um, in the same time okay i didn't hear the click but i pushed it hard and i hope it made uh, the connection Yes, it definitely can hold two ink cartridges. Let's uh, leave this plastic fountain pen aside. And I have prepared some other fountain pens. I thought initially that this fountain pen could be a metallic fountain pen. So I prepared other metallic fountain pens. This is a Pelican Jazz fountain pen. A metallic fountain pen in this beautiful pearl white color. I have also a metallic Jin Hao 911 model. I have also a metallic fountain pen made in China for the Ocean French retailer. I don't know what model this is. And um, I also have a Herrlich fountain pen made in uh, Germany. As you may know, Herrlich is as now a sub brand of Pelican. Let's put, uh, let's show them to you side by side. You can see our fountain pen is a plastic fountain pen, a slim fountain pen. It uh, almost reminds me of the series uh, that Mont Blanc did in the 1970s and they called it Mont Blanc Noblesse. I will also leave the dimensions of our fountain pen on the screen and I think we will be ready for the writing sample. I just hope that the ink has uh, reached the nib. Till then let's check out how it posts. It posts quite well. Let's see now if we have some um, lines. No. So for this reason, I will open it. Let's uh, see if I've... Um, oh, okay. Look at this element. It is a metallic element that um, makes the connection between the grip section and the barrel it uh, pop out of its place but i put it back okay let's apply some a little pressure to it and let's see if i can make it um, right okay as you can see not so much struggle okay let's see how it closes now i am ready to do the writing sample let's zoom in okay so this is the zenith omega chrome fountain pen um, I, I didn't see. Okay, yes, it is uh, made, sorry for this, it is made in uh, Poland and we have www.zenitpolska.com 
www.facebook.pl and also a Facebook page. Okay, so this is definitely made in Poland. I believe this is the first fountain pen made in Poland that I review. Okay, um, I paid for it um, 18 lei, which uh, is equivalent to 3.72 euros or 4.41 American dollars. So quite... Um, quite a high price uh, um, and uh, I mean high because I compare it with this fountain pen which is my metallic fountain pen of course this is made in China this is made in EU this is plastic this is metal but um, as a simple consumer I don't care where the fountain pens are made I care about the quality of uh, the end product that I buy. Okay. Uh, so this has a steel nib. I didn't notice. Let's see if uh, we have some. Um, no, only zenith and iridium. I uh, suspect this is also an M nib, medium nib. medium nib let's check out um, if we have some line variations no no flex but i wasn't expecting a flex nib let's see now how juicy it is quite a, a juicy uh, nib it has a good uh, ink flow I like the fact that it glides on the paper, but this fountain pen has a little feedback, but don't get me wrong, a nice feedback, you can almost hear it, it, um, it gives you a nice cursive uh, writing and um, you can hear how it um, writes and this is this is a good thing it's not a bad thing to hear the music of uh, the uh, writing okay this was my review of this uh, interesting polish made fountain pen in uh, made in eu i certainly heard about um, zenith and omega uh, on vintage fountain pens, I don't have one yet in my collection, a vintage example. But now I know that uh, this brand, it uh, is uh, from Poland. They said on the package that uh, it is from 1952. So I will definitely check it out and see, um, and see what the Zenith is all about. And look, uh, the beautiful logo which, by the way, is present also on the nib. If you can see, it's slightly erased. You can see here. Okay, a nice slim fountain pen, a plastic fountain pen. So this was my uh, review. Thank you for your time. If you liked this review and you want to see more reviews of new or vintage fountain pens, please subscribe to my channel as always i wish you to have a nice day and bye bye